Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. Coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball Sapphire Edition 5 box. Pick your team number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Everything ships, everything will be penny sleeved, and of course all the parallels and um, some of the top names will be top loaded immediately. Big thanks to everyone here for getting into pick your team number 8. I really appreciate it. Now if you bought at least two teams, if you bought an even number of teams, you get a shot at the Tigers. Alex bought two teams. Alex D bought two teams. That's an entry. EA bought three teams. Two count, still an entry. John bought two teams. That's an entry. John B bought two teams. That's an entry. Mark bought eight teams. That's four entries. Matthew Shearer bought two teams. That's an entry. Nick Casper bought two teams. That's an entry. Pat Wolf did the same. Ryan with an entry as well. All right. Thank you. Let's get him into this list right here. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Name on top after 10 gets the Tigers in this five box break. Six and a four, 10 times. One. Nine and tenth and final time. Name on top is going to be Mark Bissett. He certainly had the odds. Got him after ten. All right, now we can clear out this list. Let's alphabetize by team once again. And now let's print, let's rip, let's see what these five boxes have in store for not only Mark, but everybody, everybody else too. Here's the final printout right here. And here's the first box. So the two parallels are right there in the middle. We'll do those last. And here we go. Good luck. There's our first Torkelson. Nice. Now remember, all card chip and all of these cards will be penny sleeved. We put in the soft sleeves. Like this. And of course, the top names, like Spencer Torkelson, the number one overall pick, is going to be top-loaded right away, in addition to those parallels right over here. There you go, Mark, with the Tigers. Behind Hunter Green is Joey Cantillo. 20 out of 50. Oh, don't worry, Walter. We still have that. What if that's Pete Crow Armstrong right there? Walter has last spot mojo Mets. He's looking for Mets. That's for Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Nicholas Kasberg with that one. And the yellow parallel is an angel. 62 out of 99 on that yellow parallel for the Halos. That's going to go to John Alfie's. All right, we still have four boxes to go, Walter. Oh, you don't know anyone on the Mets? You're just trying to break? The Mets are actually a good team in this. Um, there's a kid, Pete Crow Armstrong, that's on here that all the Mets collectors seem to really like. So he's supposed to be really good. All right, here's a Met right here. On top. Don't 
There's Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. There you go, Walt. All right, so nothing too crazy here. That's what he. That's that's his deal. All right, the green parallel is going to be Casey Martin. I've heard good things about him too. Nine out of fifty, green atomic for Mark Bissett and the Phillies. <laughs> Brent, Brent Culper in the house. What's up, Brent? And we got Michael Bush. 13 out of 99 for my Dodgers. That goes to Ryan Lynn. Brent Culper saying, year three, spending all my money, all my hobby money, on Bowman draft and forgetting about how nice Bowman Sapphire is. I don't know. Just when you thought you were out, they pull you, they pull you back in. Like, oh, P.S., Sapphire Edition. <laughs> All right, three more to go. Six parallels to go, plus the base cards tend to have some strong value as well. I see a purple down there. Yeah, there it is. All right, good luck. There's Pete Crow Armstrong. Go Kings, go. All right, so a few nice cards here. There's Robert Hassel. Everyone's all about Robert Hassel as well. That's for Alex V and the San Diego Padres. All right, eighth overall pick. We got the Ed Howard, John Bender with the Cubs. A lot of Cubs fans really into Ed Howard. They like, they like what he can possibly bring to the squad. 16th overall pick. And there is Pete Crow Armstrong. That's for Walter. Last spot mojo for Walt. People like him too. 19th overall pick. Son of two actors. His mom played Jenny in Little Big League. Walter, so there's a little, little extra layer of uh, celebrity here, which might be another reason why there's a little extra hype around him. Behind Ian Seymour is Oswald Peraza. Eight out of ten. Nice low number there for the Yankees. That's going to be for John Bender and the Bronx Bombers. Yeah, there. Yeah, Walt, let's go Kings. And then behind Ian Moore, green, Ian reveals an Ian. Nine out of 50, Ian Bettle. Green for the Cardinals, Alex Donnelly with that one. There you go. Ollie's got some pricing information for you. Next box. I feel like Oliver, even the worst, the quote unquote worst card out of here will still sell for like a dollar or two. You know what I mean? As opposed to like any other set, it'd be like 10 cents, 25 cents. That's what makes the Sapphire pretty, uh, pretty desirable. And I want to say, judging from what I've seen I've seen like a lot of Sapphire in like repack products and I've seen a lot of people grade these out. I feel like, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like they kind of keep their value at least. I mean, Sapphire is relatively new. I feel like they keep their value relatively decently over the years. You know, maybe even better than like Bowman Chrome or Topps Chrome perhaps. There's another Pete Crow Armstrong.
There's a Zach Veen for Colorado. That's for EA. There you go. Ninth overall pick. Austin Wells and Warner Barkley. All right. Let's see what we got. Orange and yellow. We got Tristan Casas here. Tristan Houses reveals an Adam Seminaris. To 25. 25 out of 25. Orange going to... The Halos, John Alfie's in the Halos. All right, Ryan H., Ryan Harold's a Mets guy. He'll buy all your Pete's, the Polar type and the Bird type, all types. And we got Andrew Vaughn, 45 out of 99. Another young up-and-coming star for the White Sox, EA. And there's Tristan Houses right here. And the last box. Good luck. There's more in the store, folks. Get into it. Get in on it. I dropped my pen. I did. There you go. Ryan Harold says Andrew Vaughn stud. Already on his fantasy team, sitting in the wings. Yeah, if you if you have like dynasty leagues, you know, you know what he's all about. Keeper leagues. Got yellow and green. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Come, 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 Joseph reporting that Mike LaFleur is going to be the offensive coordinator for the Jets. That is interesting. With Robert Sala as the head coach, a defensive-minded head coach. No, we have not seen any Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos cards yet. Cameron Mlodzinski, 45 out of 50. Yeah, Ramon Instagram has been live. They've been live all night tonight, and they'll be they'll continue to go after their dinner break. And the last one here is Jackson Kowar, thirty-three out of ninety-nine for Kansas City. That's going to be for Mark. And there you go. And then Brendan Davis at the end right here. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate everybody getting into five box. Pick your team number eight of 2020. Bowman, Draft, Baseball, uh, Sapphire. Pick your team number eight. All these cards going out to you. Every one of these cards, remember, will be will be penny sleeve for you. And then we obviously top loaded the uh, sort of the top cards and the parallels as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. More in the store. Go get it. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.